reliability test in uh, SPSS based on the Chromepax Alpha for a questionnaire or a survey that is made up of a five point Likert scale. Uh, reliability test will measure the internal consistency of items and test whether the uh, questionnaire will reproduce similar outcomes or responses from participant or a group of participant who repeat the questionnaire at different date at different time. Reliability test in SPSS will generate a value for Chromepax Alpha from 0 to 1. 0 means that the questionnaire or the survey is not reliable at all and 1 means that the questionnaire is a hundred percent reliable. Here in this data view in SPSS I had inserted a data extracted from the outcome and the response uh, or responses of a 20 participant giving their opinion on 20 items or 20 questions and their responses was reported uh, on the five point Likert scale from one to five. One means that the participant is strongly disagreeing and five means that the participant is strongly agreeing and to evaluate and assess the questionnaire and whether the questionnaire is reliable or not Chromebox Alpha can be used as here we have a ordinal data and we have an ordinal data from one to five the same Chromebox Alpha tests or value can be used to evaluate a two-point Likert scale up to 10 or 11-point Likert scale. So the test can be used for dichotomous data, nominal data, binary data such as agree or disagree to answer options or responses uh, uh, agree or disagree one or zero or the responses can be uh, three scale three point three point Likert scale four point Likert scale and so on the way to do the analysis for reliability in SPSS uh, to determine the Chromebox Alpha, click on Analyze, scroll down to Scale, then select the Reliability Analysis. And I'm going to reset this. In the Reliability Analysis, drag the items from item number 1 to 20 into the box labeled items and the way to do that is to click on control a deselect the id and then drag them and place them in the box here and since we are going to use alpha we're going to use the chromebox alpha we keep this as an alpha and on uh, the statistic icon we click in that and we are going to select the um, tick the box for scale if item deleted and uh, then click on continue then click on ok uh, outcome is generated in the SPSS or an output showing that there were 20 cases here 20 participants and 20 in the next table shows that there were 20 items, i.e. 20 
uh, questions and the reliability statistics table the Chromebox alpha has been calculated and found to be 0 0.81 0 0.81 means this means that this questionnaire or survey is 81 percent reliable to cross reference this into a table given here this reference table shows that the reliability level according to the Chromebox alpha value if the alpha value is greater than point greater than or equal to 0.9 then reliability is excellent and if the value is between 0.8 and 0.89 then reliability is good and if the alpha value ranges between 0.7 and 0.79 then the reliability is acceptable and uh, a value of alpha between 0.6 and 0.69 represent a questionable reliability a poor reliability of a questionnaire or a survey will have a alpha value range between 0.5 and 0.59 if the alpha value is less than 0.5 then the questionnaire is unacceptable and since uh, in this example i've given the Chromebox alpha value was 0.81 then the reliability is good back again to this output here there is a third table called item or labeled item total statistics and I'm going only just to draw your attention to the this column here labeled Chrome backs alpha if item is deleted what this table shows that if you delete any one of these items the Chrome backs alpha ie the reliability will either increase or decrease for item number one if we delete item number one the reliability will increase from 0.81 to 0.82 and if we delete item number two the reliability will decrease and so on so what i'm going to do is i'm going to repeat the uh, reliability test again omitting the first item and check the Chromebox alpha value to do that click on here and then click on reliability analysis and I'm going to remove item number one from the analysis and keep the setting the same if I click on OK a new table is generated here it shows in this reliability statistic number of items are reduced now to 19 and the chrome box alpha is now equal to 0.824 compared to the one here which is 0.81 so removing item number one had increased the reliability uh, um, uh, for these set of questions so this is the way to perform a reliability test using the Chrome Pax Alpha in SPSS for a data that is taken from a questionnaire or a survey uh, that is based on the Likert scale from two points up to 11 points.